Hi, I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. You're watching a show called Conversations with Fred. Now, anytime the Churchill Theater calls me, stop the presses. You know they got some neat things going on. And since we haven't had Broadway, and we're probably not going to have it till September, except for, I guess, Springsteen's playing, right? He, he, he's making money. <laughs> he's making millions, Liz, while you and I are sitting here. Yeah. Liz, how about introduce <laughs> yourself, and we're going to talk about all the cool things Churchill Theater has coming up. Okay, so hi. My name's Liz Clark. I am uh, directing A Funny Thing Happened on the Way of the Forum at Churchill Theater, which goes up November 5th through the 21st. Now, before you start all of that, I'm going to put you to work first, right? Okay. So Liz, tell me, you off air, you've been telling me all that your dad was a professor. At one. Tell everybody who you are in terms of where you grew up. Okay. And now you tell me you, you've been, we're not going to give the city, but you've been moving up and down the Eastern Shore. <laughs> yeah. And you're a teacher. So mm -hmm. tell us all that good stuff. Okay. So I grew up in Chestertown. Okay. Um, went to Washington College. My dad was a professor there for 44 what years. What did you major in at Washington College? I uh, majored in theater oh, with okay. a minor in history. Okay. <laughs> and you just made my wife happy, right? She yes. <laughs> Um, and now I teach art and theater at, uh, for Dorchester County. You're down in Cambridge. Or I'm Dorchester down in Cambridge, County. yes. Right. Okay. Um, and now I teach art and theater at Dorchester County Public Schools. So. Okay, now you told me a very nice story. Before we get into all the good stuff at Churchill Theater, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Grasso, Sheila Grasso, mm -hmm. who a lot of people out there know here in Queen Anne's County, mm -hmm. wonderful teacher. Now I guess she's still directing and pro producing at Churchill. Yep. She's stimulated you a little bit to get into this whole thing? Or she did sure did. Okay. Um, it was a lot, um, obviously, like, my dad was a very big influence um, in terms of, like, my art endeavors. Right. Um, but Sheila Grasso, who I never had as a teacher because I was in the Kent County, you Kent County yeah. school yeah. system, um, but I had a lot of friends at Queen Anne's County High School, and I went and saw the productions there that Sheila would direct. Okay. And... Um, Sheila was a very big inspiration for me to kind of get into the theater now, realm. Did you, always, <laughs> did, did you act? At, did, did you do acting too? Are you always into the production? I mean, what, what would you? Yeah, say? Um, I've been a volunteer with Churchill Theater for almost twenty years. Okay. Um, and did I you started when you were two years old. Is that <laughs> Just when I was yeah, like 17. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, so I started like just doing musicals and plays there. As, and an, then, act as an actor? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, as an actor. Well, I got um, impressed. And then they said, would you be interested in directing a couple shows? Did that. I was an, an employee there for five years. Oh, you actually worked at Church mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, in the, in the office. And they called me up earlier this summer and said, would you be interested in directing? And... I really Why miss not? Queen Anne's County and when Churchill. You, when, you, when, you, when, you were, when you were acting, well, did you have a favorite play or, or something? That, and that's a tough question to someone. Well, um, I think among the favorites that I was in at Churchill was definitely Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh, okay, musical. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, one, I was in One Flew Over and the Cuckoo's sing. Nest. Oh, I, I sing Ken okay. Kesey, my favorite. Oh, yes. yeah, great <laughs> book, great movie, great yeah. play. Yes. yes, yeah. So I was in that, and that was also a favorite. And... Um, Geez, I don't know what else. Um, Did you have a singing role in Jesus Christ Superstar? Yeah, I was in the well, chorus. Give me a song. That's okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, Liz, anytime I have a chance to sing, I'm going to stink the whole show up. I'm going to do it. Okay. So you did that. So you see, you've done acting. Mm -hmm. Now you're at the production end of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'll be quiet. And you tell me, what's all the good stuff coming up? Okay. Now, someone sent you down here and said, Liz, tell this idiot what's going on at Churchill Theater. Yeah, so... Um, we have auditions for a funny thing happening. I was about to say Jesus Christ Superstar. That's oh my God, you put the bug right. in my ear. Uh, <laughs> we have auditions for a funny thing happen on the way to the forum. And that's right now or coming up? Coming up, okay. yeah. Um, the auditions are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this week. So off the top of my head, I think the dates are the... Well, today's the 13th. It's Friday the 13th. They're about the 16th. 16th, right? 18th, and 21st. Okay, so if someone's out Thank there you. and says, you know what, I want to audition for a role, mm -hmm. they can do that. Yes, they certainly can. Okay. So who, they, what do they do? Um, they basically come into the theater and um, sing a song okay. and then learn some music from the song and maybe do like a dance, okay. routine, learn a dance routine or two. So and it's, it's a real rehearsal, uh, real tryouts right on the yes. spot on stage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, um, and you're encouraging yeah. people to do that if they're interested. Yeah. 
Okay, great. Okay. Hope so. <laughs> now, okay, well, Liz, is there a number? Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot. Is there a number? What, if they're sitting there watching this program, which will come <laughs> on Sunday night, mm -hmm. the night before your first rehearsal, should they pick up the phone or go to your website? Who should they, or just show up or what? Um, just show up or um, go to our website, www.churchilltheater.org, theater, T R E, okay. at the end, or check us out on Facebook. Okay. There's always info on Facebook. Do you know what time <laughs> What time are your tryouts Monday? Monday, Monday and Wednesday is 6.30. Okay, right at the theater. Yep, Saturday at 1.30. Should they bring a resume with them or anything? Or? No. I'm trying to get you it's as many... It's very things. informal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. So if you're on the way to Chestertown to go to Dunkin' Donuts, yeah, what the heck, let me go and do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, okay. pop are in. You to Liz, <laughs> I know nothing about the theater, as Sheila would tell you. Are you told right on the spot, <laughs> hey, we need you? Or mm -hmm. how does that work in terms of when you try out? You know, an athletic team, very often you have to practice for a week before they tell you you made the team or not. Well, I think um, one of the best things about, in my opinion, one of the best things about community theater is that, like, there, there are people with, there are people who are just kind of, for lack of better words, everyday people right. who are accountants or teachers or wh whoever, and they're just kind of like, you know, I want to, do I'd something. Like to do I'd stage. like to do yeah. a little creative endeavory stuff yeah, and yeah. um and just come out and and you know ordinary people That's leading so ordinary lives and just doing something. Do you try fun to on find a spot for everybody that shows up? Now whether someone pulls in and he says, hey, look at you can't have a lead, but I do need a course. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, you try to I mean you try to find a spot. We say, we try to, but obviously it depends on numbers. It's a numbers. numbers the show, what's required in terms of casting. In this show, like how that. many people are you looking for? Oh, geez. Um, I don't know that ball off the part. top of my ball, head. Probably, yeah. I think, eight, eight to eight. 12 men oh, and okay. maybe six to eight women, but I really don't so know. So you're off talking the top of my head. 16 to 20 people. There <laughs> sure. Might, there might be some type of position if you yeah. have the courage to get up there and give it a shot. Yeah. Okay. We'll say that. <laughs> well, I mean, I have a lot of friends who can't sing, can't dance, but you know, I'd like to say, you know, I'd like to give it a try, <laughs> and I could fit in with a chorus. I could be a background person. It sounds like you might need a couple of those. Yeah. Maybe. Like, okay. Maybe. Okay. And again, let's remind everybody, the, the play you're looking for, people, is? The, the name of it? Yeah. A funny thing happened on the way of the forum. Okay. And tryouts are this coming Monday and Wednesday. And right. Saturday. And Saturday, okay. Yes. Right at the Churchill Theater. Mm -hmm. Just drive up. Mm -hmm. Ideally, call or get on the website. Mm -hmm. And you encourage people, uh, Ken Island or wherever they are, give it a try. Wherever, yeah. Okay. That sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. If I show up, you can blame this show. Blame Chris. Yeah. It's his fault. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not going to show up. Now, what else you got going on besides some tryouts coming up? Well, um, the show opens November 5th. Okay, and so it you got tryouts in August, mm -hmm. and you're talking, what, September, October to get ready. Yeah, okay. yeah, so the show opens November 5th, runs to the 21st, um, and that's kind of like our our main stage opener, Okay. but we do have, um, and I don't know the official name of it, okay. um, but it is a gala opening okay. on... Now, before I go to that, let me just say, October. if someone says, you know what, I do want to try to get in that play, what type of commitment? Are you talking rehearsing three nights a week, one night a week? How does that work? Um, I am looking at I mean, maybe four on. nights a week. Okay, so what you'd like to someone with to give no a weekend rehearsals because I don't like that. Okay, <laughs> so what you're saying if someone shows up, uh huh, uh, you're probably talking about four evenings a week. You'd like them there? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's about. Fair. That way they know the type of commitment they're making, which is good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and six to eight, or that depends. Or? I'm looking at, and, and it of course depends on availability. But I'm kind of looking at um, between six to eight thirty, like Monday okay. through Thursday. So two and a half, two to two and a half hours a night. Yeah. Now, in terms of scripts and stuff, I mean, are they supply. How, again, I know nothing about the theater. Do you give everybody <laughs> here's a script? Pretty much. And you, okay. Yeah. So you give them everything they need, right? <laughs> yeah. If they, if, um. So how? And I don't know. You know, like how it works is that uh, Churchill Theater applies um, for the rights to a production because okay. we can't just say, well, we're putting everybody. on yeah. this right. show and right. like, you know, charging people for it. Um, uh, so uh, how it works is that we, um, we reach out to the company who owns the rights right. and um, 
they give us the green light and then they send us all the information oh, we need. So the... they send us music, they oh. send us, um, you know, scripts, um, scores for the orchestra, for example. So, now, again, from someone who loves going to the theater, uh, how, what does it cost to just buy the rights to put on the play? Thousands of dollars or tens of thousands? What? A bit. Um, and and okay. it's been a while, obviously, since I've worked at Churchill Theater. Yeah. I, I left there in 2018 to go teach in the public sure. school system. Sure. But um, while I was working there, I did a lot of their accounting and QuickBooks stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I want to say, it. Musicals cost more than plays, okay. and I think that to put on a musical, the rights, it costs anywhere between $2,000 to $4,000, okay. but I, it's been a while, so, there, <laughs> so I apologize. Okay. <laughs> but there, just for the layman like myself, you don't just say, I'm going to do this play. I have to buy the rights, mm -hmm. and I have to get their permission, and yep. there's some money involved. So, yes, yeah. So someone's receiving some funds for you to put on this particular show. Okay. Yeah. No, I interrupt you. Go back to your gala. I apologize. Oh, that's okay. Um, so uh, Churchill Theater is putting on a gala. I believe the date is... October 8th or 9th. And if they're not sure, you can go to the website. Yeah, if you're not sure, go to the website. <laughs> um, and uh, it's kind of like a grand reopening this of is, the theater. This theater's been dark for a year plus. Yeah. Come on back. Yeah. Okay. And what's exciting about that is, um, you know, we, we're we replacing the fabric on the walls. They the um, We have a great volunteer base. this is base. the theater itself? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. Um, we have a great volunteer base at Church Hill. Um, uh, volunteers came in and just kind of reworked the electric system, oh, which great. is behind the fabrics on okay. the walls of the theater. Um, we took out the um, the seating in the theater, and uh, we had volunteers it's like strip the floor, oh, wow. buff it. That's hard work. That's yeah, hard work. <laughs> yeah, and they do it for nothing. So um, then this is while the theater was dark. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, literally and, dark. I mean, yeah, in a literally. Couple ways, in a couple ways, yeah. And um, you know, uh, we ordered um, new seats, okay. and you know, so it's just going to be like literally a grand reopening. Yeah, the important thing is the wine bar and the refreshment bar are still there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the most important part. Oh, no, good. <laughs> okay. So that. So yeah. the the actual setup won't be that different, except you can have the walls will be a little different, seating will be a little different. Yes. And, uh, we hope. We hope. It's a delightful spot. Okay. Yeah. So this gala now, if I'm here saying, okay, yeah, they're, they're coming back, just like Broadway's coming back in September, mm -hmm. can they buy tickets and stuff on the website now or what? Yes. Um, I, I, I believe so. I believe you can purchase tickets. If you can't do it now, you can do it soon. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, but it's also going to be... Um, it's not going to be just a performance, but we are uh, going to be doing a fundraiser. We're oh. doing like a silent auction. All and, right. And all is that all stuff. Part of, it'll, be, it'll be one night? You, you yes, think? one okay. night only. One night. Mm -hmm. uh, black tie or what, how are we going to dress? Well, I know that the actors are going to be in, in black costume? tie, so oh, I believe costume. that it's probably encouraged that the okay. audience will It'll be It'll be a very too. nice event. Yeah, right. I'm performing in it, by the oh, way. Oh, very good. Yeah, okay. So you'll have to come. So all your fans will be there, Liz. All <laughs> yeah. Right. Chris will dive through the studio. Chris here Bartlett will definitely be there. Okay, all right. And again, <laughs> the website is the key for not only dates, but probably because. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so you're going to have a silent. Now, what are you going to be auctioning off? I mean, just. I don't know. Okay, all right. <laughs> there will be a silent auction, mm -hmm. okay. There'll be obviously food and refreshment. Mm -hmm. There'll be some entertainment going on. Yes. Will there be a dinner, or is this like a hors d'oeuvres type thing, or we're not sure? I th I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I am. Is Sheila Grasso in charge of this? Yes. Yeah, she's it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be fine. Yes. No matter what, it'll be right? great. <laughs> it'll, it'll be good. Okay. So we've got some tryouts going on. Mm -hmm. All right. Next week. We've got a gala coming up in November, I think. Is that right? October. October. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's sooner than I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then November, the play will start. Yes. Is that right? Okay. So your next eight weeks, six to eight weeks, are going to be kind of busy. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> uh, now, how? Well, let me ask you this. Uh, obviously, do you go to New York at all to see plays and stuff? Um, here and there. Okay. I mean, how did the, how did theater people react? I mean, I, I get the New York Times every day. I mean, it was glum in New York City. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I mean, the, yeah. the tragedy of the COVID and the 600,000 plus deaths in anyway, obviously was tragic. Mm -hmm. But just the idea that this whole wonderful part of town which entertained the world yeah i mean yeah. and now springsteen started i think a couple of weeks ago he's doing his one-man show yep and i think <laughs> september the ball is going to start rolling there 
But, I mean, what is it like for theater people? Uh, were you watching like we were? Uh, uh, my wife was getting stuff off the, uh, not the internet, uh, you know, <laughs> off the TV. Because mm -hmm. some of the people were streaming some of the shows, I believe. Yeah. Or some of the actors. So what, what was going on in the well, whole theater concept? Here? I mean, it, the, what, for me personally, um, last, I, I, yeah, I guess about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. um, it, uh, Churchill Theater was all set to do Into the Woods okay. um, that would have it was gone probably up. even on the marquee up there. Yeah, I, it okay. probably was. Uh, it was all set to go up um, in June of 2020. Um, Into the Woods is like a bucket list show of mine. I auditioned, I got okay. a role, and I was so excited. And then um, everything started to unravel. Stop. Stop. Yeah, and um, we had to stop production we didn't even get to the first rehearsal and everyone was just kind of sitting there like what do I do ah, you know yeah. um and then you know a two week break turned into a month a year, and then a month a year turned, and a half also, yeah right? yeah and um and you know there was just this weird waiting of what what's going to happen, it but nobody day by knew. Day, like we are now, right? It yeah. day by day. And um, honestly, I think one of the things that kind of got me through um, quarantine in 2020 was um, the Metropolitan Opera, and you're right, talking right. about New York City, the Metropolitan Opera was streaming um, uh, operas that yeah. they had done yeah. in, in previous years, and my father, was a music professor at Washington okay. College. Right. He instilled a love of opera oh, so into you me. A lot of opera. Oh, I've watched a lot of them, and that was honestly like, you know, something that I really credit the Met for doing, um, making all of these um, available. operas yeah. available online. So, Liz, let me. Yeah. My, my son who works here, uh, he says to me very often, Dad, I'm not sure movie theaters will come back. <laughs> because the American, I only speaking about America, this is obviously a world problem, but the American public tragically has learned over the last 18 months, you know, in the convenience of my living room, mm -hmm. I probably can get my HBO special or my yeah. Apple specials. Will theaters recover, you think? Live stage theater? I hope so. Okay, and it's gone on for <laughs> thousands of years since the history of men and women, right? Yeah. So, I mean, do you think, you, you feel very confident that people will once again, like at Churchill Theater, mm -hmm. what's coming up in November, will we be required for masks and shots, or is that to be determined? I think so. I think it's, um, at this point, um, you know, to be determined, okay. but I think we're, we're aiming to lean that way, but, um, you know, I... We don't know, do we? Personally, I don't really know, no. but, you know, it, it wouldn't know. surprise me if okay. that's what Well, I see where Springsteen is, is requiring, requiring a shot card. You have to... He won't let you in. When I say he won't, the theater won't let you in. Right. Unless you can prove that you've had the shots. Yeah. And, you know, it's tough, but at the same time, that's the, the rule. Yeah. I mean, I just wonder... I mean, I'm hoping we all... I mean, uh, once a year, I don't know whether you know, Queen Anne's County Parks and Rec takes a trip up to New York. It's perfect for old men like me. <laughs> we get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. We get to New York. My, my granddaughters and daughter and I, we have lunch at Sardi's. Remember, we're all looking around for Aww. celebrities. No, there's no celebrities <laughs> yeah. there, Liz. They're all looking at the table. <laughs> then we go to the theater. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you finish the theater and walk around New York for an hour until it's time to go, it's perfect. I'm out of New York by 12 o'clock. And, you know, for old guys, it's nice. I can sleep in my own bed. Yeah. And I'm just <laughs> hoping that opportunity is there for my children mm -hmm. and grandchildren. And I'm hoping Churchill Theaters and everybody bounces back because I think it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, it, it probably will, yeah. you know. Most things uh, are challenging in life, right? But theater, um. I mean, come on, since the <laughs> Greeks and Romans, right? We've yeah. had people on stages and there's... Liz, you tell me, what is the... I saw, the last thing I saw was Phantom in the Opera a couple years ago in New York City. Remember when the chandelier comes down from mm -hmm. the ceiling? I mean, there's nothing like that. And yeah. I, I'm sorry, TV does not reproduce the no, chandelier no. coming down and that type of stuff. Uh, I mean, my question is, what is, is it a... A primal almost type thing that's in our DNA that we like people on stages telling stories. I mean, that's why I have this picture here. Storyteller. <laughs> okay, so Walter Raleigh. Is it a primal type thing? What do I, I mean, it's like the ocean. Everyone loves the ocean. You yeah. don't have to sit out in the sun for eight hours, but <laughs> it's the sound of the waves. It's yeah. something. Same thing with theater. Men yeah. and women on the stage. Is it, do you think it's a primal type? What, what is it? In a, in a way, I think, um, I think human beings are kind of uh, naturally drawn to storytelling, like mm -hmm. you're saying. Um, I know that, uh, for example, um, in, in my 
art class okay. a couple years ago, pre-COVID, <laughs> um, I read an, uh, an excerpt from The Hobbit by okay. J.R.R. Tolkien, and, right. it, and it did tie in with the art lesson that we were doing. And it was just like, you know, maybe like three paragraphs, but I said to my students, you know, I want you to listen and, and look for the imagery that's, you know, yeah, in this sure. picture and whatnot. Um, and I was reading it and, you know, most of the students um, had heard of the movie, but obviously had never seen, or, you know, read the book. Um, so I was reading it and I was kind of, you know, as, as you know, with um, students, they tend to kind of do yeah, a lot of yeah, this, yeah. even when you're trying to teach. And um, as I was um, reading uh, from The Hobbit, you know, eventually this stopped and I could eventually hear, like I could hear a pin drop and I was mm -hmm. like, you know, oh my God, and, the, and I teach middle school, you know. Oh, <laughs> Which hormone is, craze, yep. I love them, but they're hormone craze. Yep, and, um, and uh, by, the, by the end of me, like reading the bit of The Hobbit, you, you know. Have. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, Geez, should I read The Hobbit more often just to make them yeah. quiet? You know, but it's but it's like you said. I think it's a it's kind of we're naturally drawn to that, and maybe maybe part of it is you know when we were kids and you know Mom your parents a story would bedtime, parents yeah. would read a story to you. Mm -hmm. um, I have two nieces, uh, four and six, and they always love it when Aunt Liz comes over because Aunt Liz reads stories oh, well, and does the funny does yes, the funny yeah. voices, and they're always like, "Can you?" mess up the story and um, meaning like I switch the words sure. around and I think it's hilarious. And put their because, name in it if you can. I yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. you know, yeah. e easily entertained, but. <laughs> um, we all are. Look, at, you yeah. know, I spend, I hate to, I'm embarrassed to say this, <laughs> I probably spend two if not four hours a night watching TV mm -hmm. and I love movies and I love mm -hmm. stories and I mean, PBS has learned. Yeah. They're soap operas, but they call them masterpiece theater. There's a soap <laughs> opera. Yeah. People fall in love. People <laughs> kill each other. They they do all the human things, and mm -hmm. we love that, right? Is there, some, there must be some something in our DNA, seeing someone on a stage. I think so, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, what just happened with Governor Cuomo is, is Shakespeare. I mean, you almost see a Macbeth or a, uh, you see a tra they're tragedies, mm -hmm. right? and you just go... Yeah, that's what the theater's all yeah. about. Yeah, and I think a lot of it um, ties back to, um, I, I think a lot of it ties back to the human experience mm -hmm. and empathy and like, oh, I've witnessed something similar or I've gone through something that this character has gone through. And it, it's yeah. very tied to, you know, human existence. It makes it human <laughs> to know that on the stage they can talk about suffering or mm -hmm. falling in love yeah, or yeah. whatever goes on. And mm -hmm. uh, whether it's Hamlet or wherever it is or Romeo and Juliet, it's nice when you say, hey, you know, most of us kind of live that kind of life. Yeah. It's kind of on the stage. Now, <laughs> let me ask you this. I have a little fun. Then we're going to review all this uh, stuff. Uh, so you've got an audition. Mm -hmm. We've got a gala. Mm -hmm. We've got the play coming. Anything else you want to talk about? They sent you down here to talk about. You, I want you to know, I get these frantic phone calls, and you can give. Is it Katie? <laughs> who's a, who's the boss now up there? Kendall. Uh, Ken, Kendall, Kendall chairs. <laughs> Kendall calls me because I told her, and I want you to know this. Anytime mm -hmm. the theater wants to come on, would love to have you. Okay, but she calls me up and says, "I'm going to send Liz down there. She's going to tell you what's going on. Anything else we need to tell them that's going on?" Jeez, I don't know. Oh, um, it's okay. I got a million more <laughs> questions for you. We, like I said, we did the re, we did the tryouts. Okay. Okay. You've got a gala coming up. Mm -hmm. You've got a play coming up in November. Mm -hmm. So we kind of we got to keep Kendall happy, right? Yeah. Okay. Now <laughs> let me ask you this: As someone who's been pretty, do you have a? This is just a fun stuff, all right. This is what Chris is saying he's killing time. All right. <laughs> as someone who's produced plays, mm -hmm. acted in plays, do you have a favorite female actress in all the TV oh, movies or ever? That's a that's a. Or a couple? Wow, um, a favorite? This is sharing. Remember, you're on the stage now, so you're sharing. I and... really, um, well, in, in uh, geez, um, I'd say that. probably, like, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, okay, um, great. <laughs> okay. And um, I, I'm not. I'm... My mom, uh, while you're thinking, my mom used to take me every year up to mm -hmm. Broadway. In mm -hmm. the early 1960s, we saw Camelot. Now listen to this. Aww. Richard Burton. Oh. Robert Goulet. Uh, I can't think who Guinevere is now because I've gone blank. Julie Andrews. Yes, yeah. I think Rodney mm -hmm. McDowell was in it. And, uh, you know, Burton couldn't sing with it, darling, but he's going, <laughs> Camelot. And right, then, right. And, and Goulet who had a voice to make chandeliers yeah. fall. Yeah. But they're the type of things... Uh, 
you, you say, this, this is a, you know, whatever you believe in, this is a talent most yeah. of us don't have. I mean, mm -hmm. how can, when Robert Goulet starts singing Camelot, you start crying. Yeah, yeah. And then when Burton and, uh, uh, you know, and he and Guinevere are having their problems. And these are things that just are amazing. <laughs> how about, we'll go male. You have a male, favorite male actor? Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think. If there's some, look, Again, think of, if there's someone know. you'd like to say, I want to direct this person in the Churchill Theater. Is there somebody you'd pick? Tough one. I mean, I mean, Paul. Did it, you like? Do you like a Paul Newman or you like a Val Kilmer? Do you like? I mean, uh, well, in terms of like talent, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I gotta go with like Tom Hanks. Oh, okay. I, I mean, just he's off Mr. The top Abbey of my guy, head, right? Everyone likes Tom Hanks. Right? In yeah. terms of you know. Somebody who I like, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Bradley Cooper. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> How about favorite movie? You have a favorite movie? You have an all-time favorite? I have so many favorite oh, give me movies. One. Give me one. Um, well, um, I think one that, that I always go back to, um, and Chris will agree with me on this, is okay. Clue. Okay. Um, classic from the 80s. Right. And um, I like a lot of Mel Brooks. Okay, he's hysterical. Oh, how oh, in the amazing. world could Mel Brooks, <laughs> the funniest man? You just look at him. I mean, his body is ugly. Yeah. But he pretty, when I say ugly, ugly, funny. Uh, what was the springtime? What was the producers? Uh, the producer. <laughs> how can you? You say this man is crazy, and he's married to Anne Bancroft. I how know, did that work out? I know. And I saw the producer, the original producers on Broadway in two thousand one. Really? Okay. Yeah. Speaking of Broadway. Yeah, I mean Anne Bancroft. <laughs> I think of the Graduate. Yes. And I think of poor yeah. Dustin Hoffman walking into rooms saying, "What the heck have I walked yeah. in?" And Mel Brooks, you're just thinking, "It's springtime." Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. All right. How, now, what do you do? I mean, do theater people? Do you watch baseball when you? What do you do to relax? With the I TV am. A, I actually, you you ask the right question oh, to the okay. right person. Okay. I am a huge fan of baseball. What, you got a team? Baltimore. Oh, really? I no. mean, you know, with my reason. daughter and my wife. Uh, I'm a Washingtonian, so I got to go with the Nationals. Ugh. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> my family won't talk to me. But my daughter grew up at a point where there was no Washington team. Mm -hmm. And her claim to fame is she and her friend were on TV with a big sign, I love Cal. And I get a phone call Aww. at 11 30 at night. I go to bed about 11. Fred, your daughter's on TV. Aww. And they have them dancing. You know how yeah. they dance through the fans? Yep. And, uh, yep. Well, Baltimore, are you suffering right now? They, mm -hmm. will get, they will get better. Yeah. Um, I have been, fun fact about me, I, yeah. I, I try to do a, a new stadium every summer. Hey, really? and Where have um, you been? Guess, guess how, many st how, how many stadiums do you think I've been to? Well, if you're a real baseball <laughs> nut, you've probably been to 15 or 20. I've been to 23. 23. Yeah. What was your favorite? Who, uh, Camden Yards. Um, Can, <laughs> you know, the, the tragedy for us Washingtonians you guys built the best stadium we in did. baseball. I'm sorry, I, I've seen Jake by the Lake in Cleveland. Okay. Wonderful, and they kind of copied you a little bit in yeah. Florence. But Camden Yards is this magnificent mm -hmm. building. So what did Washington do? They built a cement, <laughs> ugly, it's like, guys, yeah. this is the nation's capital. Yeah. What were your other favorites besides? Um, so Baltimore is number one, just okay. because it was the, 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 new, the new wave of stadiums. Uh, Pittsburgh, PNC okay. Park, it's Target nice the Field water in and Minneapolis. When the fans walk across the bridge. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Um, a Target Field in Minneapolis, okay. Angels Stadium in Anaheim. Well, what got you into baseball? You're in a, come on, you're in theater you can't like uh, theater and baseball i'm i'm embarrassed to say that it was an ex-boyfriend okay. it's a good excuse there's yeah. nothing wrong with that okay. um but it but you know I, I went to my first baseball game when i was like seven i think was and your dad a baseball fan your mom no no, no, no. no it was like we went with like a church group oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and i was like oh this is fun and then you know because my parents uh are not sports not people sports at all. Well, you, you know, go with other trips. Are these boyfriend trips or friend trips? Or? I go by myself. You're right. You go mm -hmm. ballpark to ballpark. By myself, yeah. Amazing. Sometimes I drag my mom along. Well, how far west have you gone? Have you um, gone to Dodger Stadium and places like that? Yep, I've been to all five California stadiums. Oh, you, now how about that? A lot of people love the San Francisco Stadium. Have you been there? Yes. In the water? Is that yeah. nice? It's gorgeous, okay. yeah. Uh, well, it's good. just cold. <laughs> Next time, the heck with Churchill Theater. Next time, we'll talk baseball. We'll yeah, go We'll go yeah. Bob Costas on us. All yeah. Right? All right, now, so Kendall doesn't get mad at me. We just have a couple minutes left. Oh, no, Kendall, I'll get a nasty grandma money. I'm teasing Kendall. I won't. <laughs> Sheila said he's, he's a former vice president. He has no sense. Yes, okay. Uh, Churchill Theater has coming up this coming 
Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Tryouts for a play. You're mm -hmm. looking probably maybe, and we're just making the number up, 15, 20 people total, Ish. male and yeah. female, okay? Yeah. You're encouraging people to show up mm -hmm. uh, at the Churchill Theater about 6.30... 6.30 Monday and Wednesday, 1.30 on Saturday. Okay, and you tell, is this all on the website? Yes. <laughs> and give them the website again. Uh, www.churchhilltheater.org. Okay, one more time, that way they won't. W they're, they're rushing and getting their pens and pencils. <laughs> um, www.churchhilltheater.org. Okay. And or look us up on Facebook. Okay. That's always an easy okay. go-to. And you're encouraging people, <laughs> not guaranteeing everybody, yeah. but if they come. Mm -hmm. How many, by the way, uh, related to this, how many people go to try us? Do you get 50 people or you get... You just, well, or you come up, you're begging for, please, 10 people walk in the door. <laughs> it, it really depends on, it depends on a lot, actually. I think it depends on um, uh, putting aside how much the theater promotes for mm -hmm. auditions. Mm -hmm. It, it really depends on what kind of show it is. Okay. We have kind of we tend to have a bigger turnout for musicals because everybody everybody thinks loves they can sing. musicals. They sing in the shower. I yeah. should be on Broadway, man. <laughs> um, and it really depends on the popularity of the show. Okay. Um, if you're doing a musical that like nobody's ever heard of, you might you're not get a lot. You, if you're doing a play that nobody's ever heard of, or you're okay. doing something that's controversial. You don't Nobody, get you know, people might be a little bit like, Ugh, but if it's, it's like family and fun like that, yeah. and, you know, it's popular, people definitely come out for okay, it. All right, so okay. so <laughs> we, we'd like to have people, you're encouraging people to come out. Yeah. One last thing for the tryouts for this, do they need to sing and dance or not? They do. So you're going to, well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. If there's someone who just can read lines and that's it, maybe not. Yeah. But those of you who are not afraid to sing and dance on the stage, yeah, come on and give it a try, yeah. okay? Yeah. And we've got a gala coming up in October. We do. More facts and figures will be coming out on the website. They can mm -hmm. go to that, all right? So you've got plenty of time for that. Yep. And we're, you're hoping to kick off, or you are going to kick off the play in November. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's back. Yeah. Uh, the theater district is back in Churchill. Yay. There's hope. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Liz, we want to get out so Kendall doesn't get mad at me? I don't think so. I think okay. we covered it all. All right, well, look, thank you for, one, being a baseball fan. Thank you for being <laughs> involved in the theater and getting it back, right? Because I think, I really do. I read, I think they call it the arts section, or whatever they call it in the New York Times. It, it, it was almost sad because they would talk about it and they put in small, well, they're going to stream this show. And yeah, their heart yeah. wasn't into it. The theater doesn't need to be open. I mean, good yeah. for Springsteen. I don't care if you, <laughs> $500 for a ticket. I'm not sure. Churchill is not $500 for no, a ticket. No, okay. no. It's a bargain. It's a good deal. Okay? <laughs> yes. All right. Well, Liz, look, thank you for being with us. Thank All right. you for Chris having me. Chris is giving me. you a two thumbs up, right? And please, <laughs> everybody out there, Churchill Theater, you don't need to go on the traffic across the bridge. You don't need to go up to Wilmington. In Churchill, there's plenty of parking, all right? If you're interested in a little singing and dancing, Liz would like to have you. There's a nice gala coming. It sounds like it's going to be a real fun thing, okay? And then the play, it's a bargain. There's no traffic <laughs> jams. The play finishes at 9.30. You're home at 9.35, all right, if you live in Churchill, okay? <laughs> all right, again, Liz, thank you very much. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> my name's Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time. And go Nats!